Hello friends, welcome to Digiliterate YouTube channel. On this channel, I talk about online money making, SaaS product reviews, on uh, internet marketing and technology. So if you are interested in any of this, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll be talking about a SaaS product called Hey Email. Now with Hey Email, we'll increase your email productivity and emailing experience overall. Uh, so unlike other email services like Gmail and um, Outlook, etc., where you need to face all those uh, emails that you are not interested in you need to filter it and you waste your valuable time uh, with hey email that's not the case so with hey email you can only see emails that you are interested in you will never see emails that you are not interested in hey email have only one screen and that screen will only show you emails that you are interested in uh, hey emails also have tons of other features that will enhance your emailing experience now let's go to my laptop screen and see how the product works and Okay, so now the first step uh, is back to forward your email from Gmail or the other services. Just click on connect and key address. Uh, so once you connect, uh, you come over here. Uh, what you have to do is read all those things. And basically they are telling you the steps that you need to follow. So all you have to do is click on connect your forwarding email address. Uh, you have to type in the address that you want to follow. Uh, suppose I have this email address of that is associated with Gmail uh, and, I, and I want to forward all the new emails that come on this email address uh, to hey email address right and that so hey email address right so I will just click on continue and now I need to go to the Gmail account of mine I will come over, come to the address that is associated. So this is uh, my Gmail account. I will click on the setting option. Uh, I'll click on see all settings. So once I am here, uh, I am going to click on forwarding and POP IMAP settings section. Here I will click on forward a copy of email to. So I already have it, right? So I already completed the process now, but let me remove it first and show you again how to setting set up so once you are here you will see this address so uh, you have to click on add a forwarding email address so you have to uh, come to this uh here you are here uh your account setup and you have to click this email address because you want to forward all your email emails to this address right you might go at the rate uh you what that hit.com uh i'll click or uh, click uh, i will just submit over here and click on next once you click on next, uh, you have to click on proceed. So once you proceed, like they will send a confirmation code to this email address. So I'll just uh, click on uh, go back to the hey and click go to the inbox. Uh, now you will see that uh, I will have received an email from them, right? Uh, so I'll just receive this confirmation code and I'll just copy this and paste over here the confirmation code and I'll click on verify. So as you can see, uh, it is verified. Now, again, I have to click this, right? So it, I, at the present moment, it is disabled now to uh, enable. Forward a copy of incoming email to this and also keep a Gmail copy, right? So a new email that arrives at your Gmail inbox, uh, the copy of that will be kept inside your Gmail inbox and one copy will be forwarded to this email address, right? Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, click on save changes. So you can see you are, you are forwarding your email uh, to this address. So that's the notice they are showing me. Uh, now you have to come back to the settings uh, here uh, in the uh, account settings and in the forwarding and SMTP setting. And you have to click over here. You have to enable this. And you have to click on here. Okay, I'll set up the forwarding on Gmail. So yeah, that's it. So now any email that comes on the, uh, any emails that comes on why, uh, why, 
this gmail address you will receive one new email address uh, into your inbox so now let me show you i will now uh, send one email address uh, one email from some other another gmail account to this address and we will see that uh, does the email address get forwarded to hey in inbox or not right so let me let me uh, send an email address right uh, let's try uh, this is another gmail account suppose uh, let's check this one uh, so this is another gmail account of mine um, so what i will do is what i will do is uh, i'll just compose a new email right uh, so lapos let me send a message to yrpartylab@gmail.com uh, just i will type in the testing emails testing one two three so i'll just click on send and as you can see an email has been sent uh, i should receive a new email from vibo at the receive.com here uh, let me refresh it okay let me see if it has been into the spam folder or something uh, let me go here so i should see an email that is been sent from this to here so as you can see i received an email now so this email should be forwarded to our uh, inbox right so let me see inbox now so as you can see screen one first time sender so this is very important so any new email that you receive in hey what will happen it it will ask you like do you want to receive their their email or you don't want to receive so if they are important you will select yes if they are not important you will select no so i received a new email from vr patil so i will just click on this uh, screen first time sender so you have an option to screen out or screen in the email so people will not trying to email you for the first time you can decide if you want to hear from them or not so i just want to hear from them so i'll just click on yes so now i will receive their email in the inbox so if i just did not rejected it so if i screen out that email i will not receive the email i will not see the email here so that is very important so if i screen out i will only see here the people who i choose to get the emails from right so i got the email from here so as you can see our forwarding is working 100% right so this is one of the uh, features that we saw uh, let me show you in the account section what others we got the recycling center basically what it is is uh, like suppose you can choose like all the email that you are receiving basic simply i am explaining you uh, suppose all the emails that you receive right so most of them may not be important so you may you may not want them right uh, so you can choose like you want to get deleted you want them to get deleted you can do that because what happens is uh, to store the email uh, they have uh, the load on storage servers increases and it causes the pollution and power consumption right it's not good for the environment so that's their concept basically so that's you can choose uh let me go back uh billing and invoicer export your data so you can also download your contacts and all your important emails so you can keep a backup backup of that uh from this section you can do that you can keep a backup so this is what i explained you and one more thing i need to explain like suppose you have two hey account email account and you want to merge them so you can see all the emails of hey so suppose you have one personal account email account of hey and one is for your company that you're working so you want all of them to be merged so you can see all the important emails in the one section so you don't have to toggle between two email ids of hey uh, you can do that by linking another account over here right you can do that so that is what i wanted to explain uh now let me show you other things login and security again again basically you can back up email address you can add a uh, two factor authentication you can add you can check your activity log uh, screener history what it is uh, basically here you can see screen in and screen out or you can, so these are all the emails that i have received and i accepted it so that means i accepted it means like i i told the software that i want to receive like we just uh, said yes uh, to the email address from byrvibo@zoom.com right so this is screen in so if i if i don't want to receive new emails from my boy zion.com i just click this button and it will go to the screen out section so i will not receive any new email from this person uh, so you can do that you can check like you, this is an easy way out suppose you don't want emails from hey.com so you can just toggle that and you will not receive any email from hey.com 
uh, so you can do that right so this is the screen of history is all about here you can see your speaker speak easy code so when someone emails you with this code in the subject line they will skip the screen and land straight in your inbox suppose you can give this code to people uh, you know you know very well so they can use this code and they will directly land into your inbox so you don't have to manually the screen in or screen out them right so they just need to use this code in their subject line so i hope you understand if you don't then just comment down below i'll solve all your issues and all your doubts appearance and yeah that's the basic thing now let me show you some more important things now let me talk about something called hey menu so hey menu is basically the overview of all the important things so first is the inbox so in the inbox is the thing that you are seeing on the screen uh, so there are th three screen test first time emails that i got that means like i have received these three emails from the sender for the first time so now i want to decide like uh, suppose this is the email just in my primal video i don't want to receive his emails further down the line so i'll just click on no so i will never receive his email um on the first screen uh, of the inbox uh, suppose i want to receive this doc dr akuma signing Sang gong emails all the time so i can do that right also uh, this suppose this is the email i want uh, and i don't i can move these emails to the feed and paper trail so what are these the feed and paper trail so feed is basically a section like you have a Facebook, you have this feed, Instagram feed, you have LinkedIn feed, you have all the social media have their own feed. So what you do in the feed, you basically scroll, scroll, scroll. You find all the things like if you like, you enjoy. If you don't like, you scroll. So this is the feed section. In the feed section, you will have all these emails that you think are does not belong to the inbox because they are not important. Uh, they should not be screened out because they are important, but you don't they are not that important that you want to take immediate action right so the feed section you can move it and in the feed section you can just whenever you have time you can just move scroll down and see that read the emails and take the action right so let me move this email to the feed section but before that let me talk about paper trail so what is paper trail so paper trail is basically all your transactional emails suppose you subscribe to suppose you buy something online they, you got an invoice of that so this is a transactional email so this transactional email you can move to the paper trail so basically all these emails that you want to keep keep but you don't want to have access regularly you don't want them in the front of your eyes you want them but you just want them aside so whenever you suppose there is some you are paying your taxes and you need your in, invoices for buying certain things so you can get some tax relief so you can go there paper trail and all assess all your in, uh, invoices and etc things so all your transactional email you can assess over there so let me move this email to the feed section so i move that uh, email to the feed section and i just accepted uh, an email from dr akuma so it will land over here uh, so once i read the email uh, suppose i re open this email right So now this is the email that you are important and you want it. So that is into your inbox or, or you can move it to the feed or the uh, paper trail if it is a transactional email. So you can also click on reply later, reply now or set aside and more. There are some other options I will talk about. Now what is set aside? So if you keep on set aside, what we'll do is um, it will create a stack of set aside. So it will not be in your front of the eyes uh, of your inbox, but it will set aside. You can see this. Uh, set aside stack so so suppose uh, basically like uh you you know that you want to reply to this email but at the later stage or you just want it to keep it as a reference you just want to keep it as a reference so you will keep you create a stack of all this email has a set aside right or you can click on this and again you can label it you can uh, move to trash or etc right now suppose this is the email again so this is the email um, and I want to keep it as a set aside. So I'll just click on set aside. So what will happen? I have two emails now on the set aside. It is creating the stack as you see. So this is the stack. So I can create more stack like this uh, of set aside. So let me just mark this as set aside. So you see, I have this three email set aside. That's why we can use it as a reference uh, down the line. I just don't want in front of me, but just I am keeping it set aside. And if you click on this, you can also give a nice view of um, view of set aside emails. So you can just keep quickly uh, group, uh, get um, walk through it, read over it, right? So that's how it is. 
previously seen that means you open the email and then the, if you once you open the email it will go to the previously seen section right uh now let me talk about something else you can also write the emails uh, to anyone you want from here uh, subject line down the line you can keep so that is the basic thing uh, i don't it is says self explanatory you can also read together so read together means uh, you don't have to open each email and see you just go th- you all the emails get open in front of your eyes you just scroll it and read it so you have three emails i can just scroll over it and just mark it as seen if you want so yeah that's how read okay now so let me show you another things of hey email menu so hey email menu can also be accessed by just clicking on h keyboard a keyword and it will be arrived um now we saw all these things reply later if you want to reply someone at the later stage you can do that uh, so let me show you like suppose this is the email and i want to reply to it at the later stage as so i'll just open the email click on the reply later option and yeah it will go into mode to reply later section so you can access the reply later section just go here and click on this reply later you will see all these emails that you have marked as reply later uh, just open the email uh, and you can reply them right okay rock okay fine so now what you have to do is uh, another thing that is all files so basically what happens is like we get lot of media files right uh, from different people in the email so uh, finding that media file is difficult you have to go through that particular thread and just find all that media files where uh, at what stage the media file was shared etc so it is a difficult task so all files does what all the emails that you get and with all the emails at whatever time they must have sent you some documents pictures etc all those media file will be uh, placed over here now let me send an uh, sample email and see like let me uh, show you like how the media files work right so i'll just go to my inbox i'll just write or uh, type an email to yr patil um media testing media file testing I'll just attach one file x y z uh, let me attach one file let me attach this picture and just click on send so the first thing is like once i send the first thing i need to do is first screen screen in or screen out the person so you will see that i will receive one new email here so you see i received one email over here first i need to approve him right so that i can assess it so if i once i approve the his email will move to the inbox that means it is an important email so now this is this person has sent some media file as you can see this is the media file so this media files like there are many media files you can receive from different people so all those you can ask, uh, you can assess directly from the section of called uh, go to all files and you will see the media file over here so you can see all this right So this is how the things works. Uh, now, clips. So what is clip? So basically, like suppose I am reading this uh, text. Suppose I am reading this important email from Gmail, and suppose I want to, suppose I know that this code is important for me. So what I will do is I will just select this code, and I will just uh, save it as clip. So I will have a direct access. So instead of opening the email and reading it and finding this important piece of information i will just save it as a media uh, say, clip so i can directly go to the uh, clip section uh let me go I just directly go to the clip section and get this e number directly access directly access to it right so it will be a time saver right so that's how the clip works uh yeah so this is all it is now you can label your emails right so b2b sales i not labeled any email but if you suppose let me show you suppose this is the email i want to label right so how do we do that so you can just label it so select the label i am just created the label before so i am just showing you but you can create your new label in the label section that uh, this label so i'll just move this email to this label b2b sales label so i'll just go to the hey section uh, in the label section 
I will just click on B2B sale. So all the emails tagged with this B2B sale label will be listed over here. So I hope you got the answer. Uh, yeah, so that's how it is. Let me show you other options, all collections. So basically what are collections? So collections, you can create any collections. I have just created the name Sam email. So you can go here and click on any collection name. Um, suppose the person who is emailing his name is Vaibhav. I go emails and I want to track all the threads of that to in one place. So what I will do is let me show you. This is the collection I created of Vibo emails. So I once I open is I can add threads to this collection. So you can read them all on one page. Just go to the email and select. So what I will do is suppose I have a thread. Uh, suppose this is the thread, right? Uh, uh, suppose this is the thread uh, sent to me by an email. So Vibo sent me an uh, media file and I replied to it like I awesome loved it. So now this is the thread got created like a lot of conversation goes on and on so just i want to make a collection of this thread at one place so what i will do is click on more and click on add thread to the collection so once i click on add thread to the collection i just I need to choose the collection name so i just put into the vivo emails so what happens now is i'll just come over here and see vivo emails collection uh so you can see in the vivo emails collection the thread is like in a very proper way what is the latest activity that happened in the thread like i replied to it like uh, now so you can see that uh this person sent me this file at some like 6 30, 6 10 pm uh so uh, so this is how you get the view of all the threads uh thread right you can also add a note to this thread so this is a private note just for you it will not be sent to anyone else on the thread so you can just write like suppose you have some thoughts about this thread you can do that uh so that's how the collection thread looks like uh one more thing i would like to talk about or tell is uh suppose vibo sent me this email right vibo so what i will do is i'll click on this contact detail of vibo so you see this the person on uh what do you say on hey email the any person who send you email uh the contact we can call it as a contact, right? So that contact, so engr -E at the gmail.com. It's a contact. Now the name of the contact is Vibo Patil. So all the contact will have their own web page. So this is the web page of Vibo Patil. And it's one of the contact who sent me an email. So you can track all those things that you have a conversation with him previously. You can also like a uh, move, take an action. Like right? if you suppose you are talking with them and now the, this thread is no longer important to you. So you can just move this thread from inbox to the feed paper trial, or you can even screen out if, you, if it is no longer uh, important, then you can do that, right? So you can auto fill, like if you, you can move this uh, email directly to some labels that you have created already. Uh, you can also click on notify. So any new update that happens in this thread, you will get notification. Any new email that you come, you get notified. So it's up to you. Uh, you can also screen out, you can bundle up. So you can see all the emails are uh, now got uh, bundled. So yeah, that's how all the things are. You can also edit the contact. You can change the email. You can add another email to the contact. So yeah, suppose the contact, uh, yeah, you can add the contact uh, photo of the person of your contact. So you can personalize it, right? Uh, so let me show you another thing now. Uh, suppose you got an email from someone. Uh, like suppose you got an email from Vibo and the subject is like testing. But you know that this testing subject line is not proper and you need to have your own subject line that is more under, uh, remembering for you. So you just click on it and you can te uh, test, uh, test one, two. You can change the subject line too but the subject line line will be only able to see you the person who sent the email the subject line will be same to him the subject line won't change this is the subject line you give customized as per your understanding and your requirements so that's how everything that i covered is important now the, i covered all the important thing right so you are just good to go now uh so yeah let me just open it now So that's the complete tutorial of Hey Email Service. Now, if you have any doubt, 
comment down i will just answer it in the more details possible uh, i will see you in my next video if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel make sure you do that uh, if you have any comments for improvement make sure you do that i will follow them in the next video thanks for watching